Hi, welcome back to Science with Go, and today we're going to take a look again at Lewis dot structures, uh, and uh, go ahead and draw another molecule and see whether or not this molecule is polar just by taking a look at how the atoms are arranged around the molecule. Okay, so let's draw NH3, which happens to be ammonia. So again, what we do is we lay out all the puzzle pieces first, and then from that figure out how we can actually put all the puzzle pieces together. Um, all right, so let's draw nitrogen, and nitrogen has five valence electrons, and we got that from the list of uh, valence electrons from our main group elements. And remember that when we draw these, I kind of did that really fast, so let's do that again. When we draw these, we move in one direction, either clockwise or counterclockwise, and we keep in that direction, stay in that direction, and spread out the electrons before we start to pair them up. So since it's got five, we go one, two, three, four, five. And we put a box around those uh, electrons that are already paired up. And we call those lone pairs. And now let's go ahead and figure out where our hydrogens would go. So we have three hydrogens, one, two, and three. That seems pretty simple. What we'll do is we'll line up a hydrogen over here, put a dot right there and connect the dots. We'll put another hydrogen right here, put the uh, valence electron on top, connect those, and then the last hydrogen we're going to put over here and then connect it that way. Let's erase these guys. All right, and there's our structure for ammonia, which is NH3 or nitrogen trihydride. Now let's take a look and see whether this molecule is polar or not. Do you happen to see that on one side of the molecule there happens to be a higher amount or higher concentration of lone pairs? Well, yes, of course. If you take a look up, up on top, there's a lone pair right there, and there are none around the central atom. So this molecule is polar. Now where's the negative end of the molecule? And this is what you need to go ahead and label okay, when you're drawing these. So this is a polar molecule, and since the electrons are up on top right here, what we're going to do is put a slightly negative sign over here. And on the opposite side of the molecule, I'm going to put a slight positive sign right here. Now, depending on your instructor, you may actually have them, or they may actually have you write the delta sign like this with a negative sign, and the delta sign with a positive sign. That just means a slightly negative and slightly positive charge on uh, those ends of the molecule. Um, but I'm, it's sufficient in my class to go ahead and just put the positive and negative signs on the molecule, and that would be enough. All right, so in the next example, let's go ahead and take a look at a more complicated drawing and determine whether or not it's got any um, uh, polarity or not. I'll see you in class.